Okay, Outdoor Chris B here, and I'm switching out some bindings on my Rossignol Bandit Squad Skis here. And um, they have the Rossignol Axial, you can see those there, the Axitech bindings, the adjustable ones there. They're often used for demos and stuff, so I'm switching those out, and I'm actually going to put some uh, backcountry bindings on there, some markers. And uh, But a lot of people... When they run into this, I've seen some questions on the internet about uh, this front mounting plate here that locks, slides back and forth for the binding size, and that locks in when you get to the size. And um, I've, uh, as I was trying to figure this out, I looked around on the internet and I didn't really see anybody um, sending these up, being able to take these bindings off to switch them out. Heard some people. Um, that work maybe in some shops and stuff that said it's not possible to take that plate off. They said it's screwed on. On to my thought is, of course it's screwed on. Bindings have to be screwed on. So anyway, I was uh, looking in this thing and trying to figure out how to get this off. And what I found was this. I, I put them on the on the the, the um, vise here and um, looking underneath. I kind of leveraged the screw underneath the just a standard screw screwdriver underneath the edge here and looked kind of how it's holding in there and how it's holding in here and what I found was actually that the lock-in plate right here on this end on this end it's got two grooves on the sides that as you slide the, the metal plate as it slides back and forth here for the mining you go back and there's um, two slots over here or pieces of plastic that kind of wedge they get in the front and don't let you slide it back anymore on this side however um, what I noticed is as I was I had it back here and I kind of lifted it up again with the screwdriver or with the flashlight to kind of look underneath what was in this area here and I found there's actually just two little tabs sit right here that um, as you slide it forward it hits those tabs so it doesn't let it slide forward anymore and uh, what I found is this that as you I'm doing this on my phone so it's really hard to show you but <clears throat> if you to get this off you slide it up pretty much all the way just pull it back just a little bit you'll slide this thing underneath here slide your screwdriver sorry about the focus and everything but let me get this here first so you slide that underneath there and you can lift it up just a little bit and then as you do that you slide the binding plate forward i can't do this while i'm all holding i gotta hold the skis and do the plate and everything but i'm just showing that so you how to do it if you look underneath the focus isn't going to be very good, but you'll be able to see if you look underneath there, the little tabs that are sitting on the bottom part here that bump into this top. So if you're looking underneath there, you lift this just up and just enough there to get it past to lift that up over the ridge to lift this part over the bottom tab things there. And as you lift it up, the whole thing will just slide right off and then you can access the screws to take the front binding off. So um, I'm going to do put my phone down and everything and then take this off and show you what it looks like and go from there. Okay, here I'm back. I uh, wedged that screwdriver underneath there, and here's those tabs I was telling you about. Right here that sits on the bottom plate, and they just, there's a bar, I'm going to slide this off here, flip it over, and what they do is they run into these pieces right here. So when you're sliding it forward, those two tabs hit these two right here and keep it from sliding forward. And then also, you can see here, there is a, get a screwdriver here to show you. See here, there's a spot right here. These rails right here, they travel up and down, and then the front and the back right here, they also, they come up and they hit right there, and there's another one right here. They hit, and that's what keeps it from sliding back all the way off, because they'll come up and they'll go along and they'll hit that piece right there so that you can't slide it backwards anymore, slide it off. But these tabs right here, this right here, and this right here, that's what keeps you from being able to pull that plate off and once you get that plate off there, now you're into the binding, into the base plate there, and you can unscrew that and take this whole thing off and switch out the bindings there. So um, anybody else out there who have these bindings or are thinking about getting them and then want to switch them out for a better set of bindings or a different set of bindings for something else, that's how you do it. The back bindings are pretty easy. They just screw off like the standard, uh, standard bindings, rear bindings there. But this is a pain for a lot of people trying to figure out how to get this off. And without breaking it in and that's how you do it hopefully that helps people and uh, a little bit of a messy bench here but anyway hopefully that helps people figure that out so that they can switch out